Well, KETC, we're with you ahead of the storm, providing you with all of the information that you need to know as the storm rolls in. And we start our team coverage over in Morgan City, where our Abby Breidenbach is live with the current conditions there. Good morning, Abby. Hey guys, good morning. We're live out here on the seawall in Morgan City. Um, if you take a look behind me, you might be able to see the water. I know it's super dark out here this morning, um, but we're looking at really calm water out here on the river. We have seen more people than I expected to see, um, not even just staying in town at the houses, but also driving over here on these overpasses. Um, we've seen a, a good bit of people going in both directions. It doesn't look like Many people in this neighborhood that were near have evacuated. Um, we actually we saw a good bit of cars in the road and on driveways, so it looks like people here in Morgan City are hunkering down and planning to try to ride this one out. We're going to be staying here all the weekend long as well, trying to ride it out and just give you guys a continuous look at current conditions. It's a little breezy, maybe even windy out here this morning, picking up and slowing down on and off. Um, there we go, picking up just a little bit there. We're gonna continue to show you what's up down here in Morgan City, live in St. Mary Parish, Abby Breidenbach. Good morning, Acadiana. All right, thanks, Abby. Well, six weeks after Hurricane Laura,